Hello store owners and welcome to this week video. I want to show you how to um, do a few changes to your uh, blog and articles. So I just want to show you how to quickly um, show or remove your, uh, your name from it, the date and uh, also uh, the featured picture that you have in your uh, blog post. So let's go right away in, this is my, my current website. Um, it's, it's just a demo, it's just an example. Um, so if we go directly to the blog, you see I have only a test here. Um, so basically I have, I, have the date, I have the title, I have the date, I have the, an, an image, and then the, the text. So this is the blog section and if you go inside your post this will be the article section and that's how it's going to be in the code as well so let's go back in the admin this is my post so you have your title your content you have your feature image and then the other information so if you notice on the blog post, it doesn't show my name or, or any other name on the blog itself. It only shows the date and the title. So what I want to do is go back in the code and change, uh, change this to add my, my name. So go back in your, in your admin, go to online store, you get to your teams. What I do recommend you to do is always uh, create a backup or um, just a copy of your uh, of your current team so you can work on it or at least have it as a backup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate it. It's gonna create a copy right here. You can go right away and rename it. I uh, will call it just dev and you can always give it a date something like this so you know when you created it and it'll be useful in the future if you have a few of them so what I'm gonna do is actually work on this one so I don't change what I have on on the current one so let's go here and click on the three dots edit HTML CSS in the templates, we're going to open blog and we're going to open article. So let's go for the article and uh, an easy way to, to find out where it is. It's always to, um, to just select something, right click and do inspect. So you can do inspect and in, in, in Firefox and in, uh, in Chrome and in, in Safari, all of the browsers are gonna be able to do it. So what I'm looking here is just for, uh, for a class. Um, so this will do section header. So you can copy this, go back in your code to a control F or command F if you're on a Mac and you're gonna be able to do a search and it's right here so I know I have here my title then I'm gonna have my uh, my time so um, I have time settings block already enabled okay so the issue right here is I should have looked before but I didn't so in the settings in this theme I have uh, I have a, an option to um, to turn on and off the author name so let me go ahead and activate that um, let's open customize so blog page show blog post other so let me save it and just refresh to see if we see it here And I won't see it because I need, I was working on uh, a different one. So let me, you should 
click preview here and then you will be able to see it let's go back to blog so it will show it in the blog and in the article also so let's assume let's go back to my article let's assume that you you do have it and you don't have the option in um, in your settings to turn it off or on let's just go back the, the the simple way the simple way to do it is you you just need to use this code so article author um, and you can paste it where wherever you want um, so let's just um, let's copy the this and let's copy and remove this and then um, let's add it just above you can just use a simple uh, paragraph code this and we close it so what I want to do is um, post it by and then you put your author uh, liquid command right here so let's save it and refresh and we have it right here so that's how you play with the author of the uh, of the blog obviously you will want to modify it also in um, in the blog in in the main blog where you have all the articles because here it just says uh, the name so it depends what you want to do with that if not uh, you have all the room here to, to to do it let's just go back to how it was just going back okay um, so let's assume you still have you 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 have the option or for whatever reason what I do recommend you to do is if you want to hide something maybe uh, just comment it out um, so in the future if you change your mi mind if you want to know what what you did what you remove it will be best if it's commented out so you can reuse it so the proper way to comment is like this comment um, I like also to give a little bit of explanation of what I'm doing so I'm Robert and removing um, article Okay, and then you need to to close it so to close it you just need to specify and command comment and this should remove it so let's click save and it's refreshing it okay and the small issue is that we forgot the dot here um, so it looks weird so let's make sure we comment the dot also like this you save it refreshes and now it's it's gone um, let's assume now you want to 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 hide the, the date let's do the same idea so the date is right here um, before removing it and why would you want to remove it uh, in my opinion is uh, maybe you don't post this that often um, so you don't want necessarily to show the month the date all of that know that you have the option to um, to show maybe just the year or month and year uh, if you do uh, choose to I'm gonna put a link in the description that's gonna refer you to this page where you have additional filters for the date so in this case you can just show uh, and we're gonna try it out maybe you just want to show the month without the date uh, or maybe you want to show just the year um, so let's try this one you see it's uh, it, it's a percentage here and a capital B so if we go back here let's um, let's remove the date let's remove the date and here uh, I'm gonna remove it to show exactly as it is over here and what I want to do actually is I want to write it with just the, uh, the, 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 the month the complete month name and then uh, and then the year 
So let's save it and see if this works. Yes. So you have month of September, which it, it could be for uh, for today or for past few days or whatever, but it's going to show you the month and the year. Then you can also go a step further and remove the month. So we can just show the uh, the year. So in 2016 or hide it completely. And then uh, we're going to do the same thing as we did before we, uh, with the comment. So just copy this. Sorry. Just copy the comment. And we're going to we're going to we, we need to close it. So let's copy the end of comment also. Let's save it and see how it looks. So this is what we wanted. No date, no name. Uh, obviously, make sure you do it on um, everywhere on the blog or even on the home page. You can see here on the side. Um, I still have the date. Um, and in the blog section itself because this is we're doing only the article section uh, you're still gonna have the the date and the name so you're gonna need to go in here and do exactly the same thing again we're modifying here the article liquid file you will need to do the same for blog liquid or even on the home page or even on uh, as you can see here i even have it on the footer so maybe it in your case you have it in the foot at all so but it's the same logic is the same coding you you need to do exactly the same thing and the last thing i want to do um on on the article itself because we have a featured image um in in my blog post let me just show you um so i did set a feature image and the same way um that it's shown the feature image in the footer or uh, on the blog page itself I want to show it just um, before the the content so let's go back to our article and what I want to do is where uh, you, you're looking for content so we had we had here the the, the, the date we had the uh, our author we also have some meta tags here some tags from the from the article if the article was was tagged and then after that we have uh, the content so content is uh, whatever is inside your uh, your description here your content so we want to put the featured image uh, right before that and the code um, for that give me two seconds so let's take a look in, in, in blog section because I know uh, we have it there. So you have um, here you have your title, you have the, the time, author, tags, same thing. And then you have uh, right here, just before the content or, uh, or the excerpt, uh, we have the image. So let's take exactly the same thing. Um, escape. Okay. Um, so yes, we can copy exactly this. Basically what it's doing is uh, if the article has an image, it's going to show an, an, an image. Um, so what we want to do, we want to post it just before our article uh, content. Um, it's also assigning an image uh, alt, uh, which is the title. So that's that's great. And uh, the only thing I'm concerned here is that maybe the image will be too uh, too big and the link is to the article URL. So that's good. OK, sounds good. So let's save it and see what it looks like. OK. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's, it's, it's good for now. Um, you can you can live it like this you can center it you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you can you can play with it um so that's really up to you um the link it's useless because we are already on uh on the page we're already on the article so in in this case it doesn't it doesn't change much for us um so we can just remove this
and there's no link anymore because that's it we're already on the article but if you do put it in in, in the footer or on the home page or in the product then yes leave uh, leave the, the, the link so basically all you have to do is um, is use this code here I'm gonna post it in the description uh, just to make sure you uh, you do have it so if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below you also have there my information my email Skype uh, LinkedIn Twitter Instagram everything is there so don't be shy ask me your questions also um, please subscribe to the channel I'm releasing videos like this one each week so like that you will be sure to not miss any of them also uh, take a look I have a how to class uh, for you to learn CSS and uh, learn how to design your uh, your store and uh, if you also need my help for a full website analyze please uh, let me know I offer this service that's it again for this week hope you enjoyed it and see you next week